back to the grinding step because although I'm heartbreak garage I haven't got a garage just got me step we're gonna race welcome to this heartbreak garage and we're back in the van again this is a van video I know people have been asking and it's been a long time but I just I've had no go recently there's been a lot going on there goes my phone again you know family's cars niece's car my cars my wife's car Cody's car the race bike getting sorted for everything stuff I have to do with my daughter and sometimes you just get stuck in the vortex you go down the wormhole and life gets hard but anyway on the bright side the van's still on the road I'm still alive I'm still here which is more than better than other people I can assure you and what have I got well like I showed you in a previous episode, for my birthday or Christmas, my wife got me new door locks. So it'd be handy to lock the van because it's dead awkward because I can't lock it wherever I go. And I've got to be careful what I leave in it and then I'm shitting myself in case it gets pinched. So not that anyone might want to pinch it. I mean, I love it, but I don't know what everyone else thinks about it. Anyway, aside from that, I have door locks. No, then... What we've got is two door locks, one for the passenger side and one for the driver's side, and they are stamped right, which is the red one, and left, which is the orange one, so that's good, and uh, they look quite nice, they work well, yeah, that'll do. So we're going to put these in the van and try and put to bed the non-lockable van situation, and uh, yeah, so come along for this episode of Heartbreak Garage. If it don't fit, don't force it. In there. I don't know whether you can see it very well. Let me try and get my phone in there or something. In there is the door lock, and there's a little steel plate that holds it in position and clamps it to the door. So we're gonna whip that out and try and get it out. There is the retainer. And there is the old lock. Now then, I'm hoping the connectors I've got because I never had the things to connect the widgets together. Let's see if I've got some. Well, they're the right ones. Right, so we got these widgets, and I'm hoping they're the right ones, but I don't know if they're handed or whatever. They look like they might be. Yeah, they're not the same. They're not the same. But luckily, they're two different ones, so we've got a right and a left, but I just need to work out which one's right and which one's left. Right, so I've just gone to offer the lock up and such as life. If you see the circumference of that one, it's round. And that one has got squared off edges there. So it doesn't fit. Which is just marvellous. I'm well happy about that. So let's see if we can do something with the angle grinder to make it fit maybe we shall see
and the uh, trick is we're using an angle grinder is not to cut your fingers off but I've ground them down and we're going to see if it'll fit in the circumference of the door lock hole yeah because I don't want to cut the door marvellous she fits right we've just got to try and connect the damn thing up now so, with the use of my head torch we can see the little red catch there and we can see the bar that we need to get onto the debris firkin to make it work so let's try it i'm gonna have to put you down for this it's a pain in the ass a bit of dicking about that is i had to drill that hole out by the way the aftermarket so we've got the rod in what i believe is the right place to get it back through the door and located into the door latch mechanism and i'm hoping that we're going to be on to a winner so Right, so now then, now I've just got to fight with this to get this back on. Well that wasn't much of a fight, that's not tight enough at all. Why is that so loose now? It was aftermarket parts man. Let's try and just... I'd like to get genuine Ford stuff, but Christ on a bike it's dear. So we just have to make do with what we got. Make do, make do. Works. It works. Just be nicer if I could go away phone. Can you not see? I'm busy. Feels better. Yeah. Really? Right, so. That works. So let's do the other side. See what fun is in store. Door handle, I think. That'll be good. That went missing over the winter in the frost. That'll be Mrs. Blackhand's home. Right then, I'm hoping, I'm only thinking this, that there's... Not that, that's cool, but that's not what I'm after. Oh, 
that is as well. Right, so we don't need that because that's just for the knobby bit that goes up and down and I ain't got one of them. Not today anyway. But there is a little clip on the end of the door latch to accept the end of the bar, which is fantastic. So all I need to do now is grind this one and take this lock out, which hopefully might be easier than the other side, and uh, we'll be good. Back to the grinding step, because although I'm Heartbreak Garage, I haven't got a garage, just got me step. ground it all down again. Let's go. Right, so with the lock job completed on the van and now I'm able to make it secure, I'd had an invite from a friend who I work with called Bernie to go to the Oswestry show Oswestry to go to the Oswestry showground with my van. And there will be an entrance available with me into the vin veteran and vintage machinery show for my van to go in with the cars and vans. As it's getting on now, and I know it's not vintage or veteran, but it's like there's a new generation, I suppose, of people who are thinking stuff's old because some of the stuff there is mega old. But my van's 33 years old, but to me it's old because I'm only 42. 41, 42 soon. So thank you very much for the invite and we'll get along and I'll take the van and we'll see what people make of it. So I have brought the van to the Oswald Street Show and put it in the motor cars and vans section. But it's absolutely piddling down. So we'll see how it goes. Right, so welcome to Heartbreak Garage and welcome to the Oswestry Showground. I've been invited here by a friend from work to bring the van down and I've got to admit it does feel a little out of place but he said we need new, old but new cars in as well so we're going to walk around some of the exhibits now and just see what's going on here. It's, uh, it's been off and on rain but now the sun's come out so we'll see what we've got going down. And, uh, the first thing my eyes drawn to, and I'm not a VW lover, but it's this. Jags, Subarus, MGs, and loads of stuff. But we're going to go up and have a look at some of my favourites, which is some of the Escorts, but they are very clean and well looked after, and uh, far from what my van is like. I like the colour. The wheels. I like that. This is cool. Look at that wheel. Oh, little mini. More minis. We've got a nice little Nova rally car here. I've seen this one about from Mole. Bit of impact damage on the door from Summer Benton. But it's a beautiful little thing, dead well presented. We 
BMWs, we're not into them, we don't like the German thing, but look at this, look at this little Escort now, look at the fit and finish on that. Gorgeous interior as well, the wheels are immaculate, RS2000. So we've got a few things going on here, there's some older stuff here and some massive stuff as well, so let's have a look at this. shiny for me, I'd be scared to even sit in them. We've got all the commercials and the tractor engines and tractors up there, we'll go and have a look at them later. Look at Morris's. Volvo, that's cool, I like the lines, I like the sweep around the door handle and the rear tail, fins if you will, yeah that's cool, very cool. Astra GSI, back in the day, every boy's dream, got a lot of work done on it, absolutely stunning. Lovely little Fiesta, left-hand drive. That is cool. Another Volkswagen. Mid Wales Classic Vehicle Club. Yeah, that's cool. And then we're back to my little van. Looking all out of place. With my new door locks. And we got the older military vehicles on show. Land Rovers and forward controls, bits and pieces. Throwing up some bigger vehicles. Bedfords, Land Rovers, nice Dodge, that's cool, that's a bit of me right there, I like the way it's aged, that's what you want, it's cool as well, all sorts of variety of stuff, big winch on the front of that, Head up into the tractors, commercials. Well, the P100, shame about the wheels. A 
nice trucks here. Leyland's, GRX, Bedford's. Look at these little rascals. time and effort put in by all the owners to keep these on the road and restore them and what have you. This is nice, I like this. Nice old Ford Transit. They don't make them like they used to. Great things with all the copper and brass work, the drums with cables on and explosion tanks and gears. Big old connecting rods connecting everything up. There's some huge pistons in there, all the valves and no, uh, you've got to oil it all yourself. Loads of maintenance to do. Hours and hours of time and effort put in for keeping these things in the state they are. Beautiful building steam, all the copper and the brass and the oiling mechanisms and giant flywheels, everything exposed, or as I call it, the gizmo bobbery of it all, so you can see. My uncle had one of those, and then there was one of them as odd road as well, for his kids, that's cool, yeah. So that's it, line up a stern behind these others. That's it, line up. <laughs> one of course isn't that one's registration it's just up for cosmetic effect horses i know we're running slightly late with the cars but horses if you can't bring them to the ring in a minute please thank you those flowers in the back thank you think he's going to a funeral right so i had a blast there it was good fun the rain was a bit shitty but there was lots of cool stuff to look at if you're into that kind of thing there's a lot of people with some really nice gear really nice cars trucks and stuff like that and at the beginning i did feel a bit very much out of place but everyone sort of got the van and got what it was about and i had a blast so thank you very much to the organizers thank you to bernie for inviting me and getting me a ticket sorted out and thanks to all the people that showed up and came in and spoke to me i had some cracking conversations with there was a lot of people speaking to me but oh, i had one of them when i was in the 90s and I'm, i had one of them as a work van and it was all kind of cool and i enjoyed it so if it don't fit don't force it if you don't work on your cars, they will never work for you and you cannot go to places like shows and bits and bobs and enjoy them. So whatever you've got, whatever state it's in, just 
get it on the road and make it work and put a smile on your face and like me if you ain't got the monies to buy all the proper gear and make it all minty then don't just do what you can with it if it's on the road and it's mot then it's safe who gives a damn and as long as it puts a smile on your face which my van does and at this point in time i really needed it so for the last time if it don't fit don't force it